हॉर्नर सिंड्रोम हॉर्नर सेम साइड ऑल इप्सी लेटरल बट कॉन्ट्रालेटरल कॉन्ट्रालेटरल लॉस ऑफ पेन टच टेम्परेचर कॉन्ट्रालेटरल लॉस ऑफ पेन टच एंड टेम्परेचर दिस इज लेटरल मेडुलरी सिंड्रोम राइट डाउन सो लेटरल मेडुलरी सिंड्रोम इप्सी लेटरल सेरिबलर फीचर्स इप्सी लेटरल टेंथ एथ फिफ्थ नर्व पॉलिसी एंड हॉर्नर सिंड्रोम बट कॉन्ट्रालेटरल लॉस ऑफ पेन टच एंड टेम्परेचर दिस इज नोन एस लेटरल मेडुलरी सिंड्रोम ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू रिवाइज बिहाइंड मी लेटरल मेडुलरी सिंड्रोम इप्सी लेटरल या कॉन्ट्रालेटरल लॉस ऑफ perfect contralateral loss of pain touch and temperature this is known as lateral mullery syndrome artery involved is vertebral artery sometime there may be involvement of or inferior cerebral artery sometime there may be inferior posterior inferior posterior inferior cerebral artery so called pica pica sometime pica posterior inferior cerebral artery may be there in fact it, it this pica is also a branch of vertebral artery pica is also a branch of vertebral artery pica is posterior inferior cerebral artery but either of the two arteries may be involved but hardly matters mainly they talk about vertebral artery is clear to all of you yeah so we move further we move further this is the this this is the cortico spinal tract cortico spinal tract here is the 12th nerve and here is the medial lamniscus medial lamniscus you remember the structure this is right sided medial lamniscus it contain which fiber left sided position vibration sense we read a couple of minutes back only that medial lamniscus contain contralateral position and vibrations so friends this is the 12th now corticospinal tract all of right side this all right side the so right side is corticospinal tract and after once it go down of course this is going to go to other side but this crossing over will take even when it goes down below but right now this is the right corticospinal tract right medial lamniscus and the right 12th now well this part of the brain this part of the brain is supplied by under branch of vertebral artery this part of the brain is supplied by under branch of vertebral artery right down structure involved are right sided medial lamniscus right sided corticospinal tract right sided 12th now now leave your pens and listen to me try to understand how the patient will manifest clinically look at the board now there will be right sided 12th nerve palsy obviously right sided same side contralateral that is left sided contralateral loss of position vibration sense and contralateral upper motor neuron feature so 
and this is known as medial medullary syndrome and this is known as medial medullary syndrome medial medullary syndrome if equal to if c lateral 12th nerve palsy contralateral contralateral upper motor neuron features and contralateral loss of loss of position vibration sense this is the box number jo bhi tha i think 6 hona chahiye i think so 6 number jo bhi ho numbering dekh lenge this is a box number 6 so write down medial medullary syndrome ipsilateral 12th nerve palsy contralateral upper motor neuron feature and contralateral loss of position vibration sense this is the medial medullary syndrome write down take your time don't be in a hurry so before i proceed further before i go to the pons let's have a quick revision of the medullary lesion so in lateral medullary syndrome repeat revise behind me ipsilateral ipsilateral contralateral loss of in medial medullary syndrome ipsilateral contralateral loss of bus this is what you have to remember in the medulla oblongata now we move on to the pons now we move on to the pons first we draw a diagram pons this is the cortico spinal tract this is the cortico spinal tract cortico spinal tract this is right side this is the left side and here is the sixth nerve sixth nerve and here comes the seventh nerve seventh nerve it goes around and come back like this seventh nerve right side draw it cortico spinal tract this blue structure red is the sixth nerve seventh is the green color it evolve seventh nerve nucleus uh, seventh nerve now go around the nucleus of sixth nerve and come out of the pons like this right now this part of the brain this part of the brain is supplied by branch of ica ica is anterior inferior cerebellar artery ica is anterior inferior cerebellar artery cerebellar artery right side it so now when ica is involved structure involved are right side it cortico spinal tract right had it 6 and 7th nerve and this is known as 
मिलर गुबलर सिंड्रोम मिलर